Ready to learn how to use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop? If so, then stay tuned because this video is a complete introduction to using the clone stamp tool. This video is the first in a complete how to clone anything masterclass video series that I'm putting together. So click the subscribe link now to make sure that you get notified when the rest of the series is released. Or if you're watching a week or two after this is being recorded, then check out the links to the rest of the series in the description below. My name is Steve Arnold from Photo Mastery Club and Post Processing Mastery. Now let's get started with this clone stamp tutorial. So let's look at the clone stamp first. Now we've got these two options here under this pop out panel. We're only going to look at the clone stamp because the pattern stamp is something that we don't really need to use in, uh, in our landscape editing. So clone stamp tool, got that selected. And just like with the brush tool, we've got size and hardness and all these different types of presets here. I tend not to use any of these other presets. I'll just stick with a regular brush and then either vary the size or the hardness. So just like the normal brush tool that we talked about earlier. Now the way that the clone stamp tool works is the idea it the idea of it is that you can take what's uh, over here in one part of the shot or one part of an image and essentially clone it across to another part of the uh, of the picture. So the way this works, the first thing you need to do is set your sample point like the starting point. And you do this by pressing Alt or Option on the keyboard and you see the cursor changes to this target thing. So with that uh, with that active, with that cursor active, I'll just click once here and you don't see anything change. But what it does, it sets that point as the sample source. And now as I move uh, move the mouse away, you can see that it's showing like a, like a red dot, which is, it kind of matches the brush size of that part of the image where I sampled from. And so now what happens if I click and start dragging the mouse left and right, you'll see that sample point, that original source for this clone You'll see that signified by that. There's like a cross up in that uh, red bar at the top. And as I move across here, it's painting what is in that top part. And it's, it, it's taking that and painting it into where I'm brushing now. And then as I cross into that lighter red section, it's essentially copying everything that's up there around this cross and, and copying it down to uh, where I'm brushing. So that in its most basic form is how the clone stamp works. Now there's a lot of uh, little intricacies that we'll get into. The first, again, we've got these, um, we've got these options here, the, the mode drop down. Just like before with the brush tool, I tend not to uh, change this setting when I'm using uh, the clone stamp. Opacity and flow, they're something that I would change on occasion. So let's reduce the opacity here just for example. And let's resample this. Uh, let's resample this red thing here. So I clicked, and now let me just increase the brush size. So uh, with this right square bracket key, and now as I brush around, we can see it's cloning, but it's only doing it at fifty percent opacity. And now, if I want, I can go back over that and kind of fill it in a bit more. Each brush stroke is getting stronger. And now if we do the same thing, we can uh, put the opacity back up to 100. Do the same thing with the flow. Works in a similar way, just like before. So let's sample this red thing here again, and we can actually just clone out and copy the whole thing across. But the, the way this is uh, working now, if I just drag the mouse across, it's doing it at 51% flow, and then I can just go straight back over it to kind of fill it in and make that stronger. So that's different to the opacity where you would have to basically release the mouse and then keep clicking to, uh, to make it come through at a stronger opacity. So the first stroke is 53%, and then it's not getting any stronger the more I go backwards and forwards over that area. Now another important thing is this current and below drop down. What we've been doing so far is just using this, we have this white layer with some red paint painted onto it and we've been cloning from the layer and painting directly back onto the same layer. 
Now the way that we can make this a slightly more non-destructive type of edit is let's just use uh, let's just use a black um, black thing in the middle here. Let's just uh, draw something that we can clone. Go back to the clone stamp. The way that we can make this a non-destructive edit, or at least as uh, non-destructive as possible, is to create a new layer and have all of our cloned pixels on this new layer. And the way that we make sure that's going to happen is by selecting current and below. So let's just sample from the middle of this blob here. I'll click with the mouse. And now I can just copy that and clone that blob over here. And that's working. And if I hide this now, this layer, this layer is, is what's got that cloned object on it. If I choose current layer from this drop down, and I try to uh, clone something here, and I try to uh, try to sort of copy that object over, it's not doing anything because in this particular layer there's actually nothing over on that side because the image that we're trying to clone is on the layer beneath so that's why we have current and below selected the other option in here is all layers and you know you can use that if if you've got something on a whole bunch of other layers above and then you want to be cloning on a layer in between then sampling all layers will ensure that you can uh, capture what's on these above layers in your uh, in your clone sample but generally i would just recommend having this on current and below now enough of these funny examples let's actually do a real world example so uh, okay we've got this original image here i'll add a new empty layer and let's say let's say i want to uh, delete or remove one of these little bushes from down here so let's pick on this little guy here. So we've got this bush and everything's on 100%. I'm going to sample a point from over here. So I'm going to sample this grass. I've held, I'm holding Alt or Option on the keyboard. I click once with the mouse. And then as I move over here, you can see that if I just click once with the mouse again now, it's essentially copied that patch over here onto where this uh, went to where this bush thing was and because that's on a new layer we can just hide that uh, clone job just by disabling the layer all right that wraps up this first part of the how to clone anything masterclass video series subscribe now to be notified when new videos are added so that you never miss one or depending on when you're watching this check out the links in the description to watch any of the videos that are already complete and available so also let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this tutorial, but for the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.